And since my cast of characters is large, I call upon you all to enter in and play whatever role may suit your fancy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Governor, I should like to protest. No! 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 no, no, no. no, no. We don't get so no, stuff anyway. No! Just hear him out. Well, if you've no objection, and with your kind permission, may I set the stage? Proceed. <laughs> I will impersonate a man. His name, Alonso Quijana, a country gentleman no longer young. Being retired, he has much time for books. He studies them from morn till night and often through the night till morn again. And all he reads oppresses him, fills him with indignation at man's murderous ways towards man. He ponders the problem, how to make better a world where evil brings profit and virtue none at all. Where fraud, deceit, and malice are mingled with truth and sincerity. He broods and broods and broods and broods and broods and finally his brains dry up. He lays down the melancholy burden of sanity and conceives the strangest project ever imagined to become a knight errant and sally forth to roam the world in search of adventures, to right all wrongs, to mount a crusade, to raise up the weak and those in need. He persuades his neighbor, one Sancho Panza, a country laborer and an honest man, if the poor may be called honest, and he was poor indeed, to become his squire. He selects an ancient cart horse called Rocinante to become his steed and the safeguard of his master's will. These preparations made, he seizes his lance no longer will he be playing Alonso Quijana, but a dauntless knight known as Don Quixote de la Mancha. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>